In this video we're going to look at chemical formula, which is a way of looking at the proportion of atoms of each element present in a compound or a molecule. To do that we need to have a look at something called valency. Now valency states the number of electrons lost or gained by an atom when chemically bonded. So we're going to look at a table that I drew up previously. What this table shows us, this shows us according to each group number, so this is group number 1, 2, 13, or 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, two, or 8 in the periodic table, depending on whether you count the transition metals as group numbers or not, and it gives us each element and the ion that it forms when it bonds. Now, carbon, for example, doesn't form any ions, so I haven't included that here, it's usually, and neon having a full outer shell of electrons doesn't form any ions either. It's the ions that are crucial to the valency of an atom or an element. So we know that lithium is in group 1, we know that all group 1 elements lose one electron when they bond. Magnesium's in group 2, it loses two electrons when it bonds ionically. Aluminium's in group 3, it will lose three electrons when it bonds ionically. If it bonds covalently, then it will use three electrons to bond. That's the important thing. Nitrogen in group 15 or 5, we know that it gains 3 electrons usually when it bonds ionically or it will use th its 3 unpaired electrons to bond covalently. Similarly with sulphur, it will use its 2 unpaired electrons to bond covalently or can form S2- ions. Chlorine can form a 1- ion. So for me, when working at the chemical formula of a compound, let's say we had lithium chloride, the first thing I would do is I would look and see, well, what is the valency of that substance? Well, we know it's lithium chloride, we know that it's a, it bonds ionically, okay, it's a metal and a non-metal, should be ionic, okay, we can check the electronegativities just to make sure, but lithium when it bonds forms an Li plus ion, as I've mentioned above there. And chlorine, when it bonds, forms an Cl minus ion, as we can see there. So lithium, when it bonds, it gives away one electron. Each lithium atom will give away one electron. Remember, I would have billions of lithium atoms if I were to react a certain amount of lithium. Now, if I was to take a certain amount of chlorine gas, I know chlorine re exists as diatomic molecules, as Cl2, but for the purposes of creating chemical formula, we ignore the fact that chlorine is diatomic always. We know that each chlorine atom, in order to get a full outer shell of electrons or obtain an octet, full octet configuration, it will gain one electron. As lithium gives away one, chlorine gains one, but the formula becomes Li. Cl. We don't need to double up on the lithium or the chlorine or change the number of atoms of each around for the proportion. Because the proportion as it ex exists is just right. Lithium has a plus one charge, chlorine has a minus one charge. When I try to work out the formula, I think the key thing is to realize that whenever you have a certain number of positive charges, you want to have the same number of negative charges. Because overall in a compound, it will not have a charge unless it's a polyatomic ion, but we're not going to consider that a compound to start with. So we want to make sure that the charges on the positive ion and the negative ion are equal in size but opposite in charge. So the formula here, 1 plus, 1 minus, the formula becomes LiCl. If I was to look at another example like magnesium chloride, I know that the formula for the ion of magnesium is Mg2 plus. I know that the chloride ion is Cl minus. So magnesium gives away two electrons to form Mg2 plus, but chlorine can only accept one electron. So to make these charges equal but opposite, we're going to need to have two chlorine atoms to each to receive magnesium as electron. So the formula for magnesium chloride is MgCl2. So we need two chlorine atoms. If I was to look at aluminium 
chloride, for example. Technically, this is actually a covalently bonded substance, but we know that aluminium, when it bonds, forms three plus ions, or it uses three electrons. Chlorine has the one, so in order to make the charges equal but opposite, I'm going to need to add three chlorines. So the formula for aluminium chloride is AlCl3. Next, I'll look at lithium oxide. The lithium ion is Li plus oxygen ion is O2 minus, so it receives two electrons. So if lithium can only give away one electron, because it's got one electron on its outer shell, oxygen has to receive two. I'm going to need to have two lithiums in order to satisfy the oxygen. So the formula becomes Li2O. Really important when dealing with chemical formula, we understand what the numbers mean. So let's have a look at that. If I'm going to have water molecules, so we know that water is we know that water is H2O. We know that when hydrogen bonds, it uses one electron. Oxygen needs two electrons. Therefore, we need two hydrogen atoms to just go back to the original. We're going to have a look at what these numbers mean. Well, the large two means that we've got two water molecules there. Or two moles of water molecules. We'll look at that a bit later. So that means we have OH2 there and another H2O. Well, what does the small 2 mean? The small 2 means that there are two hydrogens in one molecule of water. So we just have a system where we've got a molecule of water, but there are two hydrogen atoms. Okay, so the large number in front of the compound means that there are two of them. One, two. And the small two within the molecule of compound means that there are two atoms one, two, of that element within that compound. If I was to look at something more complicated like aluminium oxide and create the formula for that, well I know aluminium forms Al3 plus ions, oxygen forms O2 minus ions. Well, how do I make these numbers equal but opposite? I'm going to need to multiply that by 2 to make that 6 plus, multiply that by 3 to make that 6 minus, and then the formula I have is Al2O3 for aluminium oxide. So that's how we create chemical formula.